Okay, so at this point, you're probably familiar with the fish tank cleaner chloroquine lady, the story that you read, and we, uh, we talked about this last week. It turns out she didn't drink the fish tank cleaner because she was a supporter of Trump. Uh, she actually hated Trump. We unveiled her voting records, as well as the fact that she hated her husband, uh, was charged with domestic assault. Anyway, a lot of this information seemed important to the story because we were misled, and so we decided to call the original, one of the original co-writers at NBC News uh, from where this story spread to see just how interested she would be in the facts of the case, and if she had known them in advance all along or not, this is Media Today in a nutshell. Real news. Let us know what you think in the comments. Hi, it's Erica. Hi, Erica Edwards. Stephen Crowder calling. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry that I, I missed your call. Um, do you have a minute? What's up? Well, I'm calling because um, I'm actually writing a story here, and I have some some information from an anonymous source that I want to keep anonymous. Um, and I know that you guys over there, uh, obviously, discretion is pretty important. It's regarding the woman who drank uh, the fish tank cleaner, the chloroquine, which I I believe I was trying to to find who wrote it. I believe you co-wrote it with Vaughn Hilliard. Yeah, and I'm, so where are you calling from? So right now, I'm actually calling from, but this isn't. Number. Okay, but I mean, do you work? Are you like, are you like a freelancer or? Yes, yes, I'm a freelancer, and 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 you know, again, I I know it's. Um, I've I've done some legwork there, and I know it's important to keep her obviously anonymous. Um, I mean, I'm assuming you you know the person in, in question who you who you wrote about. Sorry, I should ask that first. Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh, absolutely. Okay, so you did write the story, and you are aware that it's a uh, it's. Great. So I wanted to ask you uh, this. I've come upon some information. You're doing some digging. Um, the story originally that was published, you know, stated that she drank fish tank cleaner and obviously, sadly, her husband died. And uh, there's an interview that was posted where she said she did it because she saw it from a Trump press conference, correct? Yes. Okay. And then she did say that she trusted him and that no one should, should do the same. I have the article up right here. I wanted to know, um, since you know, were you aware of the fact that she was a, you must be a, a, a prolific Democratic donor? I'm sorry? Did you, you guys, you, you know her name and obviously it's public record. Um, most people don't have the name because I understand it's anonymous and rightfully so. I, I didn't, I actually she, didn't. She, Say her name, but I, I don't understand what you're. No, you didn't say her name, but I, I'm just saying I know her name. I was just confirming that way. I'm not letting the cat out of the bag. So you know the woman in question, and obviously you guys do uh, do great journalism there at NBC News. So I wanted to know if if you had discovered, if you came upon this information, or can confirm that she is a Democratic donor who gave to Hillary in 2016 and repeatedly throughout her her yeah, lifetime. Yeah, I, I don't know any. I don't know anything uh, that's not even relevant to the story, quite frankly. Well, isn't it, isn't it relevant because she said that she did it because Trump told her to? And there are multiple sources here that show she was virulently anti-Trump as an activist for a long time. So it seems peculiar that she would all of a sudden decide to take medical advice from Donald Trump when she also gave to uh, pro-science, anti-right-wing, anti-science ideology, uh, as it's stated here, uh, nonprofits. Okay. Do you, do you, I mean, is, do you have a question for me? I mean, this sounds like it's your story. Well, I, I am asking if you knew this when you posted the story, because it seems like it would be pretty relevant, no? That someone went out there saying no one should yeah, trust no, President I, Trump, I think, I and think she's that, a... I think that you, I think that you have a, a specific story that you're trying to tell, and that's totally cool. No, see, I think that you did. I think that either you didn't do your due diligence. Also, I, let, let me move on here. Are you aware about the assault case with her husband? that she mentioned divorcing her husband? Because this is a totally separate uh, instance here. We're not talking about politics, but she openly wanted to divorce her husband, and we found the court documents of her being charged with assault against her husband who died from drinking the fish tank cleaner. Were you aware of that? I, I think that you have a story there that, that you should go with. That's, that's not my story. Well, let me story, ask, but, since you published the original God, story, God you. would you be willing to correct yeah. the story since this is relevant information? Do you not see it as relevant information that a woman who went out saying she did something because she was a supporter of Trump, when we know that she's I'm not, curious. and she I'm couldn't stand her why. husband? I have okay. the evidence. I can send yeah. it to you. Would that, would that 
be well, relevant? Would you like to care? I don't have a big news outlet. That's the thing. I have this information. I have corroborated it 100% with authorities. I would love to get it to you because I would love to see the truth get out here because as we know, as journalists, it's very important. It's your story. You can take it. I don't, I don't want the credit. I just want to make sure the truth is out there and I can send you all of this evidence. If, if you would, I think that you have a story to tell, and I wish you good luck. I think you have the story. truth to tell I, here, I and I would like to provide it to you, I, NBC I News. Do you understand I, that this is the definition of I fake news understand. at this point? I can provide you evidence right now that she was... <laughs> That's news, looking out for you. Um, and we wonder why people don't trust them these days. Please do subscribe or hit the notification bell. Hit all notifications because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. There are videos playing in boxes. And please do consider joining Mug Club at ladderscredit.com slash Mug Club uh, where we do actual journalism. Never expected to, but there's no one out there doing it. <laughs>